Who doesn't love juicy office gossip? Well, do I have a secret to tell you about Excel? It's date diff, Excel's best kept secret function that calculates the time between two dates. Let's take a look at the secret function. Date diff returns the number of days, months, or years between two dates. It's a secret function because it doesn't appear when you type it in Excel, but if you follow the correct syntax, it will calculate. Let's take a look at the date diff functions arguments. The start date argument is the date you want to start the calculation on, and end date is the date you want to end the calculation on. The unit argument determines whether you want to calculate the number of years, months, or days between the start date and end date. When the unit equals y, date diff calculates the number of years between the two dates, m calculates the number of months, and d calculates the number of days. Now that we know the function's arguments, let's take a look at an example. Here we have a list of projects, the project start date, along with the date each project was completed, and our boss asks us to calculate the number of years each project took. We can calculate this using date diff. To calculate how many years each project took, type equals date diff followed by an open parenthesis. Next, we need to enter the date we want to start the calculation on as the start date argument. Because we are calculating the number of years each project took, I'm going to select the date the project started in cell C3. Next up, we have the end date argument, so I'm going to select the date the project was completed on in cell D3. Last but not least, we need to enter the unit argument. Because our boss wants to know the number of years each project took, we need to enter a Y in double quotations and then enter the function. As you can see, the secret dative function calculated the number of years the first project took, and now we can just fill the formula down the column using the autofill handle to calculate the remaining projects. We were just about to send this to our boss, and we received an email from him saying he changed his mind and wants to know how many months each project took instead. No need to stress, this is an easy fix thanks to Datediff's unit argument. To calculate the number of months each project took, all we would have to do is update the unit argument from y to m, fill the updated formula down the column, and now we have the number of months. Lastly, if we wanted to calculate the number of days each project took, all we would have to do is update the unit argument to d to return the number of days. The date diff function is truly a secret weapon when calculating the time between two dates. Now it's your turn to share this Excel secret. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to never miss a video.